Hello everyone. Today we have some really exciting news including the music video teaser we have all been waiting so long for. But before we get into the MV teaser I wanted to tell you all about the live Q and a Blackpink will be having. On the 30th of June 12 pm KST Blackpink will be holding a Q&A in the Twitter Blue Room which is basically a special spot to host interviews, Q&As, performances and more. And many other K-pop groups you might be familiar with also held events in the Blue Room. The questions will be from Twitter under the hashtag AskBlackPink. So if you have a question for the girls post it on Twitter. These are the two questions I asked. Now that we've talked about that let's go ahead and start discussing the music video teaser we got yesterday. Here it is if you haven't seen it. First let's go through each scene of the music video teaser and then at the end I'll talk about some theories. The first scene in the teaser is this big temple looking thing with fire and what looks like three figures standing in the middle. I have to say the scene really looks amazing especially because Blackpink don't use green screens. So this set looks incredible. I believe the three figures I mentioned are the pinks with one of them hidden in the back just like some of their choreography is set up. Perhaps this is the beginning and the girls will start dancing. I am also getting a super medieval feeling from this. The second scene is of what I believe is Rose's hand holding gunpowder maybe however I am not sure as I don't really know much about the medieval times, if it even is. I think this is Rose because of the blue hair peeking through and it just looks like her hand lol but if it is indeed Rose then maybe this is a part of her aesthetic during her part of the song like the cherry blossoms or the car shots. The third scene looks like the reflection of fire in water and I am guessing it's just a transition piece or just an aesthetic ad that tons of groups have in their music videos. The fourth scene is probably the one that shocked me the most just because it looks really magical and I really like how the light flickers off and on. As for the girl in the middle I am pretty sure that it's Jenny but I might be wrong. The pose and body shape really look like Jenny though. The outfit looks really pretty and the purple umbrellas at the top remind me of Jesus umbrella scene which makes me realize how far they have come. From one umbrella to a ceiling made of them lol. The next scene looks very similar to the first but everything is much more visible and there is now a giant contraption in the middle with wings. I wasn't sure what it looked like at first cause honestly I first thought of a flying tree trunk lol. But I went on Twitter and I found an interesting tweet that said it is a statue of Nikkei, the goddess of victory who is often portrayed with wings. This I think is pretty accurate as the statue in the MV looks like the carvings of a dress. Another thing that is really interesting is that Blackpink used another Greek statue in Kill This Love but that time it was Aphrodite and adding on to that it was featured in the music video trailer for Kill This Love 2. The next scene is of the same hands I believe as the second scene. I don't really know what much to say about it other than that it looks aesthetic lol. The seventh scene is one of my favorites because it looks really pretty. As you can see it's clearly Jazu and she has a flower hat thing. IDK but the first thing that popped into my mind was Lisa's El Korea photo shoot. Just me? Anyway I am guessing this is a part of Jazu's aesthetic for her part of the song. And if it is I'm going to be so happy because it is going to look stunning. The next scene looks like a continuation of the shot taken in the first scene but this time everything is beginning to look a lot clearer. The following scene looks like a wooden wheel and I don't really know what to say other than the fact that it adds to the medieval vibe. Then we get a closer look at the flying statue and it looks like crystals are growing in the wings. As I said before since Blackpink don't use green screens and stuff this scene really got me because it's super stunning. The next few clips are of the girls. First up we have Jenny who says the hi and ha how you like that. She looks really fierce in this clip and she reminds me of a cat lol also her famous gemstones have moved from the inner corners of her eyes to her philtrum. Overall this look is really pretty and I can't wait to see more of it. Next we have Rosé. Can we first take a moment to appreciate her eye makeup. Blinks have been complaining that Rosé gets the simplest makeup for years now and it looks like our protests are finally being heard. She looks really pretty and she seems to be wearing the same hairstyle from those last few photo teasers we got. Speaking of those teasers I am pretty sure Lisa is wearing the same fur coat from the music video as well. And Lisa looks so so pretty with her blue eyes and black hair. Like I didn't know I needed that but I really needed that. 
then we have Jazu who looks so pretty. Her eye makeup makes her eyes look so pretty and it also looks like she is holding some kind of crystal ball maybe? And I also think this is the same background set as the 7th scene. It kind of looks like pink spider webs lol. And then the music video teaser ends with the name of the song in the same font as the teasers which by the way is something I think we all really overlooked. If you remember I mentioned that the music video teaser kept giving me medieval vibes and then look at the font of the name. The font is the same kind of font people often connote to medieval writings. Can you believe we didn't notice that before? Another theory I have is that this song is a continuation of Kill This Love. I think that because of the statue and how many of the scenes in general remind you of other music videos. Also if you remember in the prologue of 24365 with Blackpink Rose says that the song reminds her of a cat. Cats are also known to have many lives. So is this some kind of rebirth or reincarnation as in Kill This Love many people notice that Rose and Jazu killed themselves with a car and bow and arrow. Also speaking of the bow and arrow, Jazu's part in Kill This Love looks a lot like the music video teaser right? Anyway that's a really rough theory that needs to be developed more but what I am trying to say is that I am pretty sure the futuristic stuff I predicted was wrong. Maybe they look so expressionless because they already killed their love, their emotions. Thank you for watching. The comment shout out for today goes to Anvati Singh. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you soon. Hey, like